Hello, you developers. Welcome back to the Doing It Days channel. Today, uh, I'm going to use our component uh, that we created last time, and I'm going to make a real world component that we might use in application. So, the component is uh, going to be a currency conversion. For example, we can convert the currency of convert the currency we have to pass in the currencies that we have to convert for example from USD to euro or euro to USD whatever so actually I will take a copy of a function that has been written before so we will use that so I will post paste what we have here and save and let me increment the text size okay so what else do we need we need actually to pass in two parameters to this function as well okay so basically uh, the simple thing to do is actually call it uh, and we will get an output of what the result is um, so let's go into our sites controller site controller and let's call our component so like we did before e app uh, my component and the function is currency converter currency convert and I will pass in what we had pass in currency from to and currency input so it's actually three parameters I want to convert USD to LKR let's see LKR is Sri Lankan rupees and I want to convert the input amount is 100 okay so 100 rupees in Sri Lankan rupee uh, hold on this will be hundred dollars in Sri Lankan rupees okay I will get the value and LKR value and I will print that out okay, and do a nice statement. Okay, so let's refresh and check. So it gives 13, uh, 13,377 and 50 cents. Uh, let's do the same in Google 100 USD. To LKR so we get the same value so that is working uh, but I urge here is it's not good to always go and get the information from Yahoo Finance so what you need to do is um, you should put it into a session or something the conversion rate uh, for example the conversion rate right now is 133 rupees 133 and 77 uh, cents um, for a for a one USD so put that into a session and reuse it uh, and if the and if not if it's if the session is not there you can use this function and then it will be more performance friendly so let's check if I mean first check if session currency value is there if not do this and put the value and put the value to the session so then you will not always go to the uh, yahoo finance and go get all that information and then do the conversion you just have to use the session and calculate the conversion rate uh, convert converted amount Okay, uh, that's that for the real world component. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay tuned for the next one and do subscribe. Have fun guys. Take care. Bye.